18. Welcome to another episode of Bougie Best Friend Podcast. This is a very different episode and I enjoyed it with my heart and soul. This is the first time ever that I recorded an episode where I was just talking shit about a reality show and it was a very fun experience. Me and my friend Lisa recorded about the latest season of Love is Blind season six and we were just commenting every couple, every situation, what we learned from the situation. Please keep in mind, these are all just little jokey jokes between <laughs> two girlfriends. I don't want anybody to take this super seriously. And I feel like when we watch reality TV, we don't really consider those people like actual people with feelings. And I'm sure their actual feelings were involved and hurt. So I don't want to hurt anybody you know this is just entertainment purposes and i hate that i have to give these disclaimers but i really don't want anybody to actually be offended because we didn't mean anything wrong (laughs) with anything also i'm a little stuffy so my nose is not great right now i got a little cold and that has nothing to do with this episode but i'm just sharing Lisa and I had so much fun recording this that we talked about doing a monthly episode together. She has a podcast called Unwinding and we just have a lot of fun together. So let's see if we're going to be able to make that happen because we're both pretty busy girls. I think I'm going to wrap it up here now because the episode is prepared. This is this is really entertaining. I this is honestly one of the most fun episodes I recorded. It was just talking shit with your friend. So enjoy. I'm so excited. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay. We've been rolling. Okay, lovely. Okay, tell us what we're doing today. We're talking about Love is Blind. I'm so excited. First time in my life that I was watching this reality TV show. And the reason why I started watching it is because uh, a lot of my bougie besties were telling me that I, they want my feedback. Yeah. And all of my friends were telling me they're watching it. And I'm like, you people that are, you know, I, I think very highly of you and you watch this reality TV. First piece. of all, rude. <laughs> Calm down. (laughs) I'm like a huge Kardashian fan. That's the only reality TV I watch. I tried watching like reality TV in the past and everything I was watching, I was like, this is a waste of my time. It is, but it's escapism. Yeah. It's like, I don't think about anything when I'm watching these housewives. Starting a reality TV episode. But also, don't you think it's so much FOMO? Like so much of it is FOMO. Like if everybody's talking about a show, I might not even want to watch it, but I'm like, I want to be a part of this. You know, I, I never experienced that type of FOMO, but now when I did watch Love is Blind and when I had my friends and I can talk to them about it, I was like, this is so fun. No, 100%. Like, it's and fun because of the show. I but like... I never experienced that before. I never had that with any other welcome piece. So thank you. I re- <laughs> Welcome and, to the know, party. We're so happy. I've watched every season of this fucking garbage shit show show. I just, I didn't, I have friends that actually went to the on The Bachelor. I never watched their episodes or seasons. I don't know. I never really, even though, funny enough, I was supposed to be on a dating reality TV show. In Miami? Yeah, I went, like, very far. Yeah. And that's around the time when I met Wes. Okay, should we get me on a dating show? Yeah. Don't you think I would thrive? I wonder, would they make you the villain? What would they make you as? I feel like... What would you be in the reality TV show? I think I would be, like, the, hopefully... First of all, I would go for all the wrong reasons. Like, I would go to for get famous. Yes. yes. I'm not even going to fucking lie and say I'm yeah, there for love. Of like, course. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there for the wrong reason, aka to make friends and to get famous. Yeah, of course. Get, but I'm going to verify on TikTok. But I'm going to make everybody my best friend. I think I would be the girl that's like friends with everybody. Mm-hmm. I'd be the funny one. Okay. Hopefully, America would love me even though they would be like this bitch does not want to get married you know just here for the clout but like Like trevor but like maybe i do find the love of my life i mean i doubt it but i i I don't know so i've heard that there's some couples that are still together there are and that's why i think okay let's we're so we're we're here to talk about the reunion and we're here to talk about we just want to talk shit. Not but just we the also, reunion, just like the whole season. The whole season. And like what we can learn from mm-hmm. some of these clowns. Situation respectfully. Shits. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that that's why in this reunion, I think that's why they had so many couples from previous seasons on. Because I feel like they were trying to show like, listen, 
there are success stories. I have to say I was fast forwarding through any type of person from the past because in general, I don't believe in like past relationships. So like, don't show me this shit. I want to see what's happening now. I know. I agree. I was, I wanted the tea. I wanted the present tea. Yeah. Fenty. This is beautiful. This lip color that you just applied. It looks gorgeous. I've gone through like 87 of the same one. If you're listening, hot chocolate by Fenty Beauty. Mm -hmm. I would give up my firstborn child for this lip gloss. I would not give up Rocky for sure. Oh, no I, I wouldn't give up Ali either. I'm <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> what do we think about the reunion? Uh, Trevor was, was I guess, uh, a fan favorite. And then soon it came out that he was actually in a relationship before we came to the show. And so he was a, a fan favorite. And then it was discovered, revealed, that he actually was in a relationship. And as he got out of I mean, it looks like um, he's going to go sell computers. He does look like a salesman. He def- I mean, but that was also his like original photo for the application it photo. Similar, it looks like yeah. he's on an ad he, for something. He let me like down. He really let me down. Yeah. I was rooting for him. You know, he seemed like such a nice person. And then to go there for clout, which again, we both said we would go there for clout. I don't think he went on for clout. That's Can what I he just- said. No, he didn't. On the reunion. No. What they said, they said to him like, Trevor, like, did you come on the show for, for, for to help your career, to further your career? And he was like, what career? Like, what? Is, how is this going to help my career? No, but I think that Chelsea said that he was talking about clout and followers and social media. But I saw that on TikTok, so that's not a really reliable source. Yeah. You know what? Hot take. I'm not saying he did a good job at all. But, like, I don't know. I, I, well, I will, why are you disappointed with him? Why am I disappointed? Yeah, like, what what was hurting you? (laughs) Well, I'm disappointed that he did the whole thing. What thing? He went on the show, did the whole experience. Okay. It didn't work out for him the way he wanted to. So, allegedly, as soon as he got home, he texted his situationship back home that Mm -hmm. he says... No, yeah, he said he loved her, but he said he never asked her to be his girlfriend. Number one, why are you telling people you love them and they're not your girlfriend? Number two... I mean, didn't you ever have a guy tell you they love you, but they can't be with you? No. (laughs) <laughs> well you're god's favorite honey no i never let it get that far oh okay maybe that's a different i mean story. no no honestly no <gasps> i had so many people like tell me they love me but that's the only i i, I i'm in a happy relationship yeah no right so and then he it didn't work out the way he wanted to so then when he got off the show he texted his girl being like hey i love you like whatever i'm gonna say one thing i think that he did what any other guy or a girl even would do he like he went on a show he left the show he felt like a failure Mm -hmm. he didn't meet anybody and he went where it was he wasn't picked he wasn't picked Yeah. yeah i think his mistake which is what a lot of people do his mistake was giving somebody a false idea of what they are, of where their relationship stood. Like his girl back but home. But every guy does that. Well, that's nowadays. what I'm saying. Like I think that is the biggest fault here. First of all, can we talk about what kind of woman would let her man yeah, that's go insane. on a reality? That's insane. And this is his second, first of all. His second what? Second dating reality TV show. Oh, I didn't know that. I saw it on TikTok. Okay, I saw I don't, all of my love and Bli- love is blind tea on TikTok. I, I don't know if these are reliable sources. I think that this one is though. I'm not sure, but it said that he already went on another, and she was with him because when I saw that he has a girlfriend, I wanted like to do my research. Like before Love Is Blind, he yeah. went on a show. Perfect match. Before or after? I think before. I don't know. No, because a lot of the contestants went on Perfect Match after, but, but they already they, said who it was, and it wasn't him. Okay, so then. So it was, before? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can Google it. Oh my God, Trevor! Yeah, look at Trevor. Hole. Literally. <laughs> Okay, I mean, so you know what? I just have to add, he has a lot of muscles. He really does. And that shows that he is a little fixated on himself. So he, you know, is working out a lot. He just maybe, I mean, I'm getting so deep right now, but maybe yeah. he doesn't like love himself the way he should. So that's why he's seeking validation on all these reality shows. And at the same time, he has a girl at home and he was apparently, he told Chelsea that he wants clout and social media followers. Again, I saw that on TikTok. But that was based on Chelsea's interview yeah. somewhere. Okay, should we just get into Chelsea and Jimmy now that okay, we're already yeah, on the topic? Are we talking about Trevor or no? Are we gonna, uh, let's wrap matter. up Trevor, yeah. yeah. Trevor. Okay. All you I will go. say is I feel like Trevor is getting railed. Mm. And I think there have been worse sins 
I'm not saying what he did was okay, yeah. but like, okay, yes, he let a girl yeah. on and he went on a show. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, who doesn't do that nowadays? Like, let's be realistic. I'm not say- again. I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm just saying like, okay, relax. Yeah. Like, there's worse shit. Here. Okay, so Chelsea and Jimmy, go ahead, please. Jesus, where do I begin? Um, okay, hot take. Mm-hmm. I don't think Jimmy was that awful. Okay, that is a hot take. Go yeah. ahead. I will let you speak. So, okay. Let me just preface this by saying I don't think everything he did was correct, but honestly, Chelsea made me root for him. I don't want to root for a man, and she mm. made me root for him. Mm. To be honest with you, I feel like he handled uh, handled her in a lot of her moments with a lot of patience. Like, do you disagree? I just saw today something about Chelsea giving an interview. So this is the thing. Like, with these reality shows, I you know, never know what actually happened. You have to take it with a grain of salt, I think. So based on what we've seen on television, I don't like Jimmy because I just think he's sleazy. But that's just, like, me, like, reading his, like, everything. The way he's, I don't know. I mean, when he saw Chelsea in real life, he was very disappointed. But I would be, too. Uh, same. She, she I said, mean, I look like Megan Fox. First and foremost, oh, she didn't I, say it that way, but. I really i am all for female empowerment. Like, people know my content. This is just entertainment purposes, what we're doing right now. She just doesn't look like Megan Fox, and that's something that needs to be said. I do see, like, a little bit of a bone structure here, but it's like me saying that I look like a Victoria's Secret supermodel that's, like, five fucking feet taller than me. The problem is men are so simple. Yeah. And she made a huge mistake of over-promising yes. and then under-delivering. De- yeah. It's got to be the other way around. Yeah. And you're also on a show where the entire premise is to not talk about that. Of course they all, they all I talk mean, about that. I mean, the thing is, that's why she's so insecure. Like, why of would course. you not... Why would you bring up that you look like the... Ho- First of all, in all of my content, when I'm trying to make a comparison, I'm like... If you look like Megan Fox, like Megan Fox is like no, literally. my, my, yeah, my yeah, goddess. Yeah. yeah. So when you say that you look like Megan Fox, it's like, what are you trying to say here? Obviously, nobody looks like Megan Fox. It makes me sad because, again, and this is just what I deduce, the way that she, you know when you ask a question because you want someone to ask you the question back? Yeah. I feel like that's, that's, how, she she asked, asked that's how she asked the question. And I totally understand that maybe she didn't mean it in this you know, way of like, oh, I look like Megan Fox. She disclaimed it. She said, people say this. I don't believe it. Whatever. You're still saying it. Yeah. Men aren't going to... He, Jimmy, did not hear any of the disclaimers in that sentence. Yeah, All he heard was Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. And she also... I think she also knew what she was doing in the way that... Of course. She felt like she was competing with Jessica, who she was able it to see like physically. Fox, yeah. And and I like feel like Kardashian. Chelsea has insecurities, yeah. right? And she was comparing herself to Jessica, which, I mean... Is so sad, right? Because yeah. it's such a w- women thing. Like, we understand how tough that is. But she was comparing herself to Jessica. And I think that when he was like, I love you, I genuinely feel like she had a better connection with Trevor. But I feel mm. like in her mind, she was like, oh, my God, he picked me. Over Jessica. Right. So I think it's like an, our ego, of course, wants to be so validated. Mm-hmm. And it makes me sad, honestly. I'm not going to sit here and bash Chelsea because I've had so many insecure moments in my life. But again, I think there were so many moments where she was... I have to say something before I forget. I'm sorry. No, say it. She had the total right to be pissed at Jimmy for hanging out with these two girls because he fucked one of them. I would not let Wes hang out with a girl he slept with. or I don't know how what was their situation yeah. or whatever. I wouldn't even be comfortable that my boyfriend has two super close girlfriends and he talks to them constantly. Well, like, that was the demise of their relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And same goes for me. Like, yeah. I don't talk to any men on right. a daily basis like that. I don't want to talk to any men. The only man I need to speak to every single day is my man. Yeah. The only thing I will say about that is, because they did say that, was he talked about that in the pods. Like, he made it clear to her, like, hey, this is important to me. And I know a lot of people aren't okay with this. And she said, like, it's fine. Oh, what? He's, he said that he has yeah. girlfriends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and he doesn't, so, he's not friends with her anymore now, I guess. Yeah, no? no, but, and I hear you. I think that's a boundary that, like, you either have to set and enforce or. It's there. almost like when you tell your man that you love football <laughs> just to, like, win him over. She wanted to be chill. Yeah. That's what happens when you try to be the chill bitch. You should never be the chill bitch. No. No chill. Unless you're okay with it. But if you're not okay with it, it's going to come up at some point. And I think that's a really tricky road of like, 
men and female friendship is a very tricky dynamic. It doesn't exist. And like once you've had sex, like I'm sorry, that's no longer your friend. Yeah. I do have to say I heard that Chelsea gave an interview and in the interview she said, again, I heard this on TikTok. (laughs) In the interview she said that that evening when she was so pissed that he, like she started giving him shit for going out a lot. And apparently there was an evening when he he left like i guess they were living together and then he left home said that he needs to take a minute and then he told her that he's going to bed and just like good night i love you whatever and then apparently he butt dial her and then you she heard that he was in the apartment with like all of his friends or something and that yeah they, that would upset me uh, too. i would break up with a guy over that but th- now, see this is annoying this because brain? like this is so this is why this is so hard to do analyze and give insight is because we are commenting on what we're shown but like look at like yeah. i didn't even know this yeah. existed right so obviously yeah. like that's not okay i wouldn't be okay yeah. with that that's why i say we can only say so much right yeah. obviously this is so much more complicated but i think what would we say we learned from chelsea and jimmy I think we learned that first you shouldn't even f- try to force a relationship because that's what they were doing this entire time. Agreed. He wasn't attracted to her. That was just so clear. And if my guy is not attracted to me, like, I don't need to try to make him like me. Like, your soulmate should want to be with you. I think I heard this and uh, probably also on TikTok. Absolutely. I don't know why I'm getting all my knowledge from TikTok. I mean, same. But when it comes to Chelsea, I mean... She, how old is she? Is she like over 30? I think early 30s. I think that she is, I mean, I don't know. She just seems a little unstable to me. I think, you know how people say you have to love yourself before you can let somebody love you? I don't fully agree with that because I think you're also allowed to not love certain things about yourself, be working on them actively, and still pursue and entertain people in your life right like you're still allowed to date even if you're working on yourself like I I fully believe that's okay however I think you have to kind of be in a certain point for that to work you know the work in progress thing like I think there was a point in my life like where 80 percent it has to be yeah. it has to be at least flowing it has to be a little more than I think where she was at yeah, and I say this like with 40. I say this with like compassion because I have been there you know and but I've like I knew that I was in no position to date somebody because there was so much so many insecurities my self-worth was on the floor I was like I can't I'm not gonna drag someone through the mud I know I had the awareness yeah. though of that I think she and that's why I say this I think with, she with has compassion now. like I of think course, when she saw of course, herself of course, on the of show of course if I received the amount of hate she received yeah I, that I literally just told Coco this like I I would not be okay. You know, it makes me so sad because, you know, I'm so happy that I never went on that reality show that I was like casted for a few years ago because one of my friends went on a dating reality show and I asked her what was her experience and she said, people create a narrative about you that you will never get rid of. Yeah. So she is going to be on country Chelsea her her entire life. And it's just like... I also want to say another quick thing that I, like a lesson from this as well is... Don't have arguments when you're drinking. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's easier said than done. I don't really drink anymore. This is like my... I would drink a glass of wine here and I feel like tipsy. Yeah, that's such a big one. Yeah, thank you, know? you for that. I mean, for the glass, the big oh. one, the glass. <laughs> you're welcome. Do you want some yeah. more? No, I'm good right now. Um, that um, was That's a huge one, I but think. But I agree with that. That's what... And that it's never going to end well. And also, if you're starting to write paragraphs on your telephone, yeah. it means that you should not send that paragraph. Well, also, I think it's, you know what, high-level lesson from this is know what you're okay with and stick to it. Like, yeah. just because someone is in front of you and this opportunity is presented to you of, oh, a relationship that could be, if a lot of the things that are, for you, non-negotiables are there, don't break your boundaries yeah. just because there's an opportunity. Because look, agree, ultimately, 100%. it was it led to the demise of their relationship. I think a few things, but what do you think was... is the main reason they broke up? I'll tell you mine. <laughs> I think first and foremost, he just didn't like her at yeah, all. No. She was obsessed with him yep. for some reason. I don't know why. I, I like I would never be attracted to him. Obviously, didn't didn't like hear all the pod conversations. I think I'm jumping from topic to topic. 
I'm just gonna say I think Love is Blind is a great experience I think if you're ever thinking to go on a reality show like go to that one I think this is so cool like I would love to be one of the contestants me too I would obviously love to do not it. because I'm like happily in love but like that experience of just like talking to somebody that yeah. you don't like and falling in love like yeah, can yeah, you yeah. actually fall in love I don't know I just I first off when they were all talking about their wedding and getting married well, I'm think, like this is not real man but this is why but look this is I'm sorry this is gonna sound horrible but I think it's okay to admit that there are certain things that as humans we want in a relationship and one of the biggest ones is most of us want to feel attracted to our partner and that is okay that is yeah, normal that's more than okay and I'm sorry but if you look at the couples that have had success on this show it's because yes they fell in love ultimately as you know they fell in love with their hearts through the wall mm -hmm. but then when they saw each other they were both like okay like I, oof, can, thank God. I can work with this yes let's mm -hmm. go and then you see a lot of these couples that are like fuck man like i have love for this person but i'm not i'm not attracted to them and I there's only so much you can force with that i could never force it i also me either when people ask me questions if i don't want to climb you like a tree yeah. it's not gonna work yeah when people ask me like can physical attraction grow i mean it can grow into love and then you're just like lying to yourself that you love them and you do you do love them but you don't want to like hump them <laughs> like you just like said exactly them. you so. don't want to go to that tree with them okay let's go to uh, i'm sorry we're just gonna really quickly say amy and johnny i'm not interested <laughs> i was gonna say i wish you all the best yeah good luck that's it <laughs> No, but I, I seriously, I wish them all the I best. I seriously, okay, I no, hope, no, no, I, I have hope, to say something. I hope they do a brand deal with Trojan and they get a box of condoms sent to their door. I was about to say, actually, I did a brand deal with Trojan a long time ago. Slay. Uh, <laughs> it was for a lube. We love. <laughs> but I have to say exactly what you just said. Like, how old is he? I have no idea. And you don't, have never heard of a condom? You're going to go get a vasectomy before you use a condom or and pull out? Johnny, like, what is wrong with you? Sex ed, like porn? Did you never see like somebody put a condom on their like wiener? I either, I don't know too much about it, of, of why he was, again, I fast forwarded a lot of their parts. Yeah. I'm sorry, so I don't know, but I feel in my head, I'm okay, like. Okay, I know what happened, I'll tell you. He either got terrified, like he either got a, you know, a bad scare, like a pregnancy scare, and that traumatized him, or he just hasn't fucked around a lot. Not, and I think he's uneducated when he comes to He's about to, to fuck ed. around and find out. I know that he said he didn't want to have a child because he's financially not ready for that. Okay, and fair. I agree I with love that. a self-aware king. Yeah, yeah. Do you have That's anything it. else to add no, about No, I wish no? them truly all the best. Yeah. And that is all that I have to say. Yeah. <gasps> I have to say one more thing. About Amy and Johnny? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> about Amy. I know you said that you didn't remember their apartments. No, at all. Okay. I'm so I, upset. So because I binged, I saw everything in one go. Amy's apartment was like Stunning. a child's apartment. What do you she mean? had little pillows like shaped as a unicorn. Her her room was all pink and she looked like she's 14 years old. Like her room God. literally looked I like I don't remember. She's 28 or 30 or something. Like I don't understand. Do you like, think she ever gets mad? I don't know. I could see him getting mad. You know what? I'm he sorry. Gets red in his face. I don't I don't trust people who are like so always like happy go lucky. Was he always like that? Both of them, I feel. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, there's some. But she's shady in she's there. Latina. I know at some points she'll oh, yell at the class. Like I know that. But him, I'm like, I don't know. I don't trust people that are just like so Jolly. calm and level headed. Because I'm like, that scares me. Yeah. Because what happens when you get real fucking mad? Oh, you punch a wall. It scares me. I, I'm not saying this is Johnny. No, no, no. We're not I'm just saying, saying like, it scares me in general when people are just like always. When people like, when you ask somebody, how are you doing? And they're like, amazing. Literally like, cannot my, relate. My life <laughs> has never been like, better. I cannot relate. I like, wish I could I, say that. Do you ever, do you have any friend that like will never talk shit? Oh yeah. You ask your, how's your relationship? Great. How no, just your... like, sometimes you just want to talk shit. Like yeah. it. I do say that I, I always give a disclaimer, like, I'm about to talk shit because uh, same, I don't yeah. like to complain about Or I'm like, can I say life? something? Can I, can yeah. I be mean for a second? And, or and like, the, the, the gods. Sometimes it's like the dumbest shit that I just want to talk shit about. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Amy and Johnny wish them well. So Amy and Johnny, we did. Chelsea and Jimmy. Trevor, we did Jess. Should we talk about Jess? Jessica. I think Jessica is very attractive. I love the little, like, I think I would be friends with her probably the most from all of them and Laura but Jessica I don't know much about her I 
don't know what to say. I know that she has a 10-year-old daughter, Autumn. Mm -hmm. She loves her very much. What does Jessica do for work? She's an assistant. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I think she's an executive assistant, know. which I'm like, you can do better than that. I think she's going to thrive. Oh, yeah. After this? Yeah. She's going to become like a social media superstar. Yeah. If she 100%. just like... I think she has a great personality. I think I was so impressed with her in the pods when... I just... I love... I love how she was so able to be so communicative about mm. her feelings, about what she likes, what she doesn't like. I love that. As somebody who wants to be able to communicate my feelings better, I was like, I love that. Call and her for a class. And then you see Jimmy, who's like, damn, I've never, I've never been with someone who's so direct. Yeah. I can't, he could not handle Yeah, that's her. why he didn't pick her, because she he wasn't, was intimidated. She wasn't too much. He wasn't enough exactly. for her, I think. But when that, again, that's see, compatibility. When compatibility. you see and realize what you missed, missed out, out on, you, you are going, going to choke. choke. Oh, well, let's do it again. Ready? Okay. When, when you, you see and realize what you missed out, out on, you are going to choke. choke. <laughs> You're going to choke. You are <laughs> so going good. to need, need your EpiPen pen <laughs> to open up your airways. <laughs> so good. So good. Queen. So good. Queen yeah. vibes. I think the only thing I did not love was her behavior when she was with Laura. I know okay, you missed I didn't this. Really, yeah, can you okay. tell me about, about that? So as soon as they left the pods, okay, I believe this is when everybody was back from their honeymoons, mm -hmm. okay, she went on a date with Laura. They went mm -hmm. to a little bar to have drinks. This is before her and Jimmy have met each other face to face okay this is before the barbecue that face to face meeting was so good we need to talk about that too. bro imagine just oh, i'm sorry but like imagine being jimmy oh i would i would you, he said my day just got a lot worse no shit so my boyfriend wesley he doesn't watch love is blind but i gave him like a little you know 101 yeah 411 411 what number 411 <laughs> you got it i gave him some 411 on jimmy and jessica and all of that and like should love i turn a light on or you think that's good it's still good right i would turn i would light on? i would turn the light on yeah because it's gonna go Sorry, just go darker no it's okay okay can you also give me the wine yeah. a little more wine so i told wes that uh, i just gave him like a little update on the situation oh, okay. it's a little yellow okay so i told wes about the situation and he just about jimmy about jimmy and jessica and chelsea like that little love triangle in the very beginning as you've heard in this episode people aren't always as honest as you may think and as your bougie best friend there are two things you can always count on one i keep it real no matter what and two i will never gatekeep which is why i want to put you on this episode sponsor spokio i know i know just hear me out we talk a lot about dating here on my channels and the amount of stories I get from you all regarding cheaters, liars, being catfished, it's alarming. I love telling you all to take matters into your own hands, do a little digging and be your own FBI agent, which is why it was a no brainer to partner with Spokio again. They are a people search website and can do the digging for you. No more having a hundred tabs open, no more falling down a rabbit hole trying to expose someone or feel safe for once on these dating apps. You literally just search their phone number and girl, they'll put a whole report on them could find their full name my dating app girlies know how handy that is their social accounts court records addresses and more just think about all the things our phone numbers are actually tied to you know that friend who can find just about anything on anyone yeah they probably use spokio use my link in the description box to start a search today or come back whenever you need to using spokio is what will coco do now back to our little review and he was just like yeah this is great He's like, he probably hates his life right now because no matter how, what the physical, not physical, no matter what the emotional connection is, when you see that your, you know, second choice is so hot. It's exactly what you thought was yeah. going to happen. One of my friends that watched everything told me that she thinks she is the hottest girl they ever had. I think 100% she is. I've watched every single season as really? well. Really? Yep. Okay, so she's so hot. I mean, she's I, beautiful, I never yeah. like saw... I'm sorry, I'm just going to say something. They don't usually cast... Such hot girls. Tens, okay? Yeah. She's a solid 10. But like, can we agree? Because child, that was like a little caveat. I know. I know. But I love a child. Same. We love. I can't wait to have kids. Oh, me either. I'm excited to hear about your plans. And it... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the plan is... <laughs> There is no plan. <laughs> okay. Um, so, okay, let me tell you about this scene. That, that's the only oh, part yes, I didn't like. Laura and... Uh... So, uh, so, Laura and Jess meet up to have a drink. 
and I think I did see that Jess scene, is like uh, heartbroken of course right mm-hmm. and she was kind of being like do you think Jamie's excited to see me kind of vibes like just mm-hmm. not speaking in a way that is respectful knowing that oh I don't give a fuck about that I'm sorry I they were all they just met each other for the very first time they're not actual they maybe became friends but they were not actual friends so like if you are a contestant in a show and i'm a contestant in a show and chelsea's a contestant like Mm -hmm. we're just competing for the same shit to like get a guy i I hear you but the way she was speaking about it was like it's just that her ego talking totally but that's what i'm saying that's the only thing that in my head i'm like i didn't love that and but she also was like i'm sorry that was so disrespectful because it was shown on TV. If right. it wasn't shown, nobody totally. would ever nobody would say ever anything know. about that. And they were never, they would never even look at that as something negative. Because if I just think she didn't do anything wrong there because she wasn't like saying that in a malicious way. And she wasn't saying it that. It came to, across malicious. That's the problem. But I, I think at I the end of the day, that, like, she wouldn't ever, I don't think she's like the kind of person that would fuck up and do that. Yeah, I just think people are have an ego, and obviously, if you know that you're attractive and yeah. you were about to yeah, meet yeah, yeah. a man that you never seen, and you're on a dating reality show, and he almost picked you, and you know you're hot, he's gonna choke, Absolutely. as he did. We're gonna do Laura, Jeremy, mm-hmm. really quick. We'll throw in, unfortunately, Sarah Ann, and then we'll finish oh. with the best for last, which is Clay and AD. Okay. Okay, Laura and Jeremy. Take it away. I like Laura. People told me I remind them of Laura because of her, like, communication style and, I guess, physical appearance. Really? It's because we're blonde. No, I'm, I'm thinking of the, the communication attitude. style. You know when she said, go kick rocks with yeah. open toe? Oh, my God, I love that. Yeah, she was... When she also caught... I, I do see myself in Laura. When she caught him hanging out with Sarah Ann... Because she, he shared his yeah. location. He's and so she, stupid. He is a fucking clown. Yeah, he is clown. a fucking so you're clown. A killer. That apartment, that house, did you I also don't remember. remember? No. You need to look it up when it leaves. The way, no, the way she caught him, like she was so calm, cool, and collected. She was just letting yeah. him speak. And then mm-hmm. she was like, actually. I saw your location, my fucker. Yeah. What do you think about her? Laura? Mm-hmm. I like Laura. Okay, any other I like feedback? Laura. No, honestly, I think there's nothing... Can I be mean for a second? Of course. Her. <laughs> be my guest, please. <laughs> she. I have nothing bad to say about Laura. No, yeah, me neither. Just like her outfit, she wore. She wears this like black crisscross. Oh, at the party. She wears it at the all barbecue? the time. Really? Like she wore it at the barbecue. She wore it at another event, and then she wore it at a at the reunion. She was like tuning in. When from she was zooming. Something. That was such a sleigh. She's like, guys, I'm in Spain. Like I'm yeah, just gonna I'm zoom in. Life. Yeah. yeah. No, that was great. And I just think that she needs to, like, she could be such a boss if she levels up her style. And I, don't you feel like after seeing themselves on TV, they're like, oh, fuck, I need to, I need to do this. I, and would, that, I would at least. Oh, like, my like, God. That, that makes me see. I, I'm not strong enough for that. For television like that? No. I am, but I think no, I would regret it. I'm not. I just know that I... But see, oh, wait. What about talking... Let's talk about their relationship. Okay, yeah. so Jeremy... Okay, Jeremy. There's nothing <laughs> good to say about this man. Yeah, I fucking... I couldn't even be friends with him. I couldn't be in the same <gasps> room with him. I forgot about Pri- Brittany and Kenneth. Oh, they're so irrelevant, though. <laughs> I love Brittany. <laughs> She's sweet. But, okay, let's stay with Jeremy and uh, Laura. Yeah. Actually, I think the most <clears throat> relevant thing here is Jeremy, Laura, and Sarah Ann. Like, okay, that's yes. the... Sarah Ann fucking ho. I never said this, like out loud on the internet but i have zero respect for her me either none if you send a message to my fiance whether or not this thing was real but like you know you she's he's engaged to me and you send a message to my fiance if the if there's any chance and then obviously he's a, a weak man jeremiah i just think that you like I post these girl code videos. Honey, this is like number rule. No, she one needs to rule. follow. Yeah, Bougie. No. She needs to listen to Bougie Bestie. Uh, we yeah, need she, a, you need to send it to her. Absolutely. Just DM her. Just send the podcast. Don't even yeah. say anything. Just DM her. Just like, I, just I the will. podcast. Like, don't fuck your friends. No, no, no. Boyfriends. Just literally just send the podcast. Like, yeah, that's, that's it. Fuck this name. That's like, it. the episode name. Yeah. Don't fuck your friends. Oh, that's ex. what you should send. Yeah. You know what? I know that everyone, I know, I, I think that's an opinion we all share, like how wrong it was <laughs> for her to send that message. I think most people would agree on that. Yeah. I. My take on it is, I think it's okay. I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? No. I I would be like, bye-bye. No, no, no. You know what? Like, yes, that was so wrong. As Queen AD said, it lacked class because it did lack yeah. class. What I deduced from that was like, it makes me so sad that 
a man literally did not choose you and yeah. you're still leaving yeah. the door open for him to well if you change your mind you're pathetic if you change your mind come back around and the door's open like that is where i'm like we that is where i'm like it is so important to know your value yeah. truly and yeah. realize that like okay if something didn't work why are you forcing it also don't you want someone don't you want to be someone's first choice like yeah i don't if you have to think twice about whether you want to even with friends like if, if i feel like somebody has to think a little bit too hard if you want to hang out with me or not i always want to hang out with you goodbye same mm-hmm. but like you know what i mean it's yeah. like i i'm not i'm not in the business of forcing anybody i wonder where is let alone a man i mean her worth like mm. it's like and she's also one of those people you know those people that are like committed to being wrong like you could show them a video being like look you said this and they'd be like no her content ever since i've been like watching her tiktoks it's so it cringes me out it, so fucking I, much i'm like do you think you ate with that yeah no it's it's sorry just, like, she gets me riled up i can go you can go crazy girl like <laughs> it makes me first of all you don't love yourself because you were going that's what i'm saying i will tell you when i was younger i was hooking up with this guy who had a girlfriend i think i was like 18 years old okay i thought i was the hot shit because he chose me over his girlfriend that's how like i know i and first of all my parents are like happily happy to still together maybe they're not like crazy in love with each other but they're like super nice and cordial so this is not coming from any I understand childhood trauma yeah but I thought that I'm like because the things that guys tell you this guy specifically what he was telling me he was like he was just telling me all these like crazy stories why he can't break up with her and but he has to be with me because he loves me so much I mean I told you like so yeah. many people told me that they love me in, in my life I'm so offended that men <laughs> have been telling me that. I am a hopeless romantic so maybe like I just you know let that emotion in I don't know Anyway, I just thought that I'm hot shit because a guy who was in a relationship chose me. And now looking back, every bad thing that happened to me in my life, I connected to like karma. I'm like, if I fucked up somebody else's life a little bit, karma's coming back. Maybe it's like I'm, I stubbed the toe today and I'm like, that's like paying off. You're from, so funny. Yeah, because I think nothing is ever going to, nothing good is going to come out out of a relationship where somebody else is getting hurt along the way absolutely or embarrassed you know what like, you know what is like yelling in my brain as you're saying this is this concept that i think so many of us women unfortunately like fall weak to sometimes and it's like the concept of being chosen like yeah. we all we want to be picked it's like we want to be the one that is like yeah i i he chose me yeah you know i got him to commit i got him to do this i got him to leave his wife whatever it might yeah. be and I think Sarah and you can tell, like, I'm sorry, but somebody who values themselves, somebody who is also surrounded by women who also have so much dignity, they're not going to do that shit. Of course not. Like, I'm sorry, but none of my friends in this moment, right? I'm not, obviously when I was younger, like we were stupid and we live yeah. and we learn in this moment. I don't think I can tell you one friend that I know that would act in such a way. No none. one. And if they did, they would be, no, but here's the thing. Here's the, here's the caveat to that. If they did, they would be humiliated and so regretful, but she was proud of what she did. That's the, that's like what scares me the most is like, she was like, yeah. And they're like attitude on their reunion, like touching each other the whole time. Like, okay, we got it. And then like her posting photos from his, uh, for videos from his apartment. Yeah. Then she, uh, was saying like this is reality like doing a voiceover this is reality wow. tv la, la, la. you guys wanted entertainment i'm like you are not you're just you're just showing that you're low class like that's all you're showing yeah honestly it makes me just sad <clears throat> you know like i'm just like damn yeah. that sucks that sucks this, that you think that's okay i think this is all the airtime we should give her yeah let's wrap up okay let's move on to well should we talk about Brittany and kenneth really quick i mean what is there to say <laughs> I just feel like I think Brittany is the cutest. She seems so sweet. I did not feel like their relationship was going to work at all. There was no fireworks, in my opinion. But I didn't. Opinion. I didn't think it would end the way it did. However, I saw on TikTok because <laughs> um, everybody was so upset. They were like, "Kenneth, yeah. like we were rooting for you," you know. Yeah. 
and the way he acted in that scene when they broke up, he was such a dick. Yeah, but that was not this. That was not the whole story. Right. Of yeah. co- well, uh, what did you see? That's on what TikTok? they showed us. So obviously, like we have to take it yeah. to you what know. What did you see on TikTok? <laughs> um, <laughs> I saw a few of my sources. <laughs> yeah. People were saying how I guess that day they had filmed that scene already. They broke up in the morning and they had to like record it for the right. Like cameras. I guess yeah, they said that and that they had to record it so many times. Like at that point, they were both just like completely over it, so distraught. She was obviously more emotional. But still, like being on your phone constantly. The phone thing pisses me the fuck off, and I'm gonna tell you why. We all have jobs. I understand your principal. Is he an influencer? He's 25 and a principal. Can we talk about that? Like yeah, that's my weird. kids are not going to a school no, where no, no. actually mm, I do have faith in. 25. People, but 25 like, seems a little 25 young. 25, you're probably still like smoking weed at night. How do you jump from like, I just graduated yeah, college and I'm the principal? Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. Maybe he has some I have so many questions. I was just going to say, you knew someone at that school. Yeah, let's call. Your let's, dad works at that school let me, or something. Let, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll F- find out. FBI find out, glasses. yeah. I used to study to do some research. I don't know if you know that. No, but Investigate put those journalism. skills to use and find out how he got that job. Okay. Um. So I understand <laughs> we all have jobs. Yeah. I get it. However... Figure it the fuck out. You're filming a show. Yeah. Yes, we're all getting back to work. The cameras are here. You know they're here. They're probably shooting for a few hours. Like, do your. Also, it's the middle of the night. Are parents really calling you in the middle of the night? But you know night? what? At the same time. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they are. This I don't is know. what I. Like, at least he didn't, like, put on a show. Like, he was. What I've heard about Chelsea and Jamie, that he was constantly on his phone, just not when the cameras were there. Mm. So this guy at least showed his true colors yeah, to America. See, you know what? Can we talk about that guy who's talking with his to chest. these girl, two girls and then he left the show because he says America is seeing that? Matthew. Oh, Matthew, that's his name? Well, AD went on two dates with him after they wrapped. Did I tell you that? What? Yeah, we'll discuss soon. Matthew, Can you yeah, check Matthew, my phone? Matthew gave me <clears throat> such... Like, I can't believe you're like confidently recording 44 minutes on oh, your yes, phone. Yes, you need to get this phone. Yes, you're good still. Mm-hmm. I look a little crazy. I love I this setup. The light. No, I, <gasps> I'm obsessed with this setup. What if I turn on... No. <laughs> Guys, we're having technical difficulties. Yo, I don't know why every time I'm recording a podcast, something breaks down. We're going to have to do this. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's just a little we're shady. Almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, Matthew, who I, I, he had all these questions for the girls, and then he just didn't ask them anything. He scared the shit out of me. Crazy. He was just a little bit... You know what? I used to work in finance, so he looks like the typical finance bro. bro. Yeah. yeah. What's crazy to me was he walked into the pods and said, I have a list of questions. And you can't ask them. But you can't ask them to me. And if you start speaking, and I don't care about what you're going to say, I'm just going to leave the room. Like, honestly, I have no choice but to respect it. <laughs> How he left some of these women. How he left some of these women just talking alone, like a the audacity. Dominance. The audacity. No, he's nuts. Like mm-hmm. you're insane. But I get no, okay. Wait, crazy. AD like, went on. AD's been doing the podcast tour. Like she has been booked and busy this week. What she's do you mean been podcast. Oh, she's okay, been okay. on like five podcasts oh, really? this week. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that. So I heard her on Nick Vial's podcast, and mm-hmm. then today she went on Cami Crawford's podcast, who I adore, and she was saying how. She went on two dates with Matthew. In real life? Yes. Like, after after Clay and her broke up, she went on two dates with Matthew. Okay? First date, he wanted to, like, apologize. They had dinner, whatever. Second date, I don't know. I don't remember what she said. Sex. But she she said <laughs> that... Not. She was like, you know what? I think Matthew was, like, largely misunderstood. And she was like, I think he was very nervous and didn't... He was not equipped for the show. Did not know what to do. And... She was like, I think he went into the show with, like, a script of what he thought he had to say. Um, well, that's just amateur vibes. I would not find that attractive. No, me either. Fucking weird, first of all. I just think what is funny is that when they invited him to the reunion, he was like, respectfully, no. You know? Oh, like, did he? I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, He was like, I respectfully decline. I don't understand. <laughs> like, why did Trevor show up to the reunion? You know what? He has balls. He sh- What kind of balls? He was there sitting quiet like a little mouse. I know. He should have respectfully declined as well. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. They just embarrassed him. Bro, that was They s- kicked him out of the stage. So they were like, okay, now yeah. you can go. Yeah. That poor man. That made me feel bad. Like, Same. It made me feel bad. I wouldn't want to experience that. Like, that's hor- that poor man. He, you know he's going to be in therapy for a while. So who else we have left? Okay, we have AD and Clay. Okay, I they're like your favorite. I, I wasn't s- want to say anything until now, but I'm like, I don't really give a fuck about them that Well, much. no, I, don't, I have hot takes as well. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. You go first. Well, let me just start by saying it's a little triggering because Clay looks like the man that I date. Oh, <laughs> should, I, should I spell his name? 
<laughs> Clay looks like the man that I like. Yeah. He's beautiful. You cannot tell me that man is not. Yeah, he's all right. Hot. I mean, my man is like similar to him. Beautiful. So let's just, I just wanted to get out of, get yeah, that out of yeah, the window. Yeah, yeah, Get, get um, it out of your system. You want to talk more about him? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I think about Clay and AD. And the lesson, I think the biggest lesson before we dissect it is... I think that was the epitome of when someone tells you who they are, believe them. In this case, yes. when someone is, or sorry, the quote is like when someone shows you who they are, believe them. In this case, he was telling AD so many times, you know, I'm scared of this. What if I do this? I'm fearful of this. I'm, I want to, but this. And it's like, you can't hang on to potential. We love as women, I'll put myself in that box, like, we love to hold on to you potential, can him. but potential only works if they act on it. If not, it's just potential. It's nothing yeah. more. And I think there's a blurry line between being compassionate and empathetic, right? Like listening to what he's saying of, I'm nervous. My, I experienced this. I witnessed this mm-hmm. in my household. Like, I think there's a blurry line of being empathetic, having compassion for someone while also enforcing your boundaries again. And I think she... I don't know. Like, I know everybody's like, yes, AD. And I love her. I really do. She's my favorite yeah, one. Cool. The only thing I will say is like going from a fiance to what seems like a situation ship is crazy. Because yeah. the way she made it sound like they're still fooling around and like they have a very close, so flirty relationship. I fell asleep, I told you, halfway through the show. But I saw the, the reunion. But well, I she saw that on, she was like on in his like Thanksgiving party. Okay, so I heard that today in, in this episode. And she clarified. She said, I'm very close with his family. She loves his mom. Bullshit. And I believe what she said. She said she went. Sure, but like, and then why she, you... she went on a date apparently after that with somebody yeah, else. Right. However, on Nick Vial's podcast, she said, he was like, are you guys intimate? You know how yeah. he asks yeah. like the hard hitting questions? He was like, what's going on? Like, do you guys hang out? Are you guys intimate? Like, what? You know, and she was like, "We're flirty friends. Like when we see each other, we're all over each other." And but like again, like honey, you are worth so much more than that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Going from fiance to situationship is nuts. Yeah, no. And I feel like I need to take a final sip. It's before we sip up this episode. I almost feel like he's getting exactly what he wanted. Yeah, the the wife without the commitment. I will tell you, I think that if you love somebody, you will find a way to make it work. Agreed. I think. If you, he was constantly saying how he was raised by a father that was absent and he was cheating and whatever, and that every man that he, every man that he saw was acting the same way. You could be the one that's gonna be different. So you decided that you're gonna be just like, you know how sometimes like people say if you grew up with like alcoholic parents, yeah. you're either gonna be an alcoholic or you're gonna be totally against it. He decided to just like go the easy way out. He didn't want to improve himself and he didn't like, this is again very personal, but like my mom was left, I never shared this ever in my life uh, online. (laughs) My mom was left by her dad when she was, I think two years old. We later like tracked him down and like we met him and when she was like 40 years old or something. Wow, that was the first time she met him? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and she said, when like I was talking to her about it when we were growing up and I was like and she knew that like they she yeah, knew no, what yeah. had happened he left like obviously she knew he, he she had his last name and everything and she and she's like an amazing mom yeah and I asked her like how did you become such a good mom because you had such a shit parent and I mean her other I don't want to get into details but yeah. like her childhood was not great yeah and she said I had a choice either I'm going to be the best parent I could be or I'm going to do the same thing to my kids. So that's why I don't believe her fucking excuses. Clay, I think that you are a weak man. Maybe, I don't think he's, he's a weak man. I think he's a man in progress. Mm-hmm. And they were, they're not soulmates. Because if they were supposed to be together, they would find a way to work it out. Also when Wes and I'm like going at it right now. Also when Wes and I started dating, there was a million reasons for us not to be together. Mm-hmm. A million and we both made it work. Because you wanted it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you didn't want to make it work. She was not the girl for you. And that's totally fine. Yeah. But then don't... I mean, you guys both should just like be more selective. Totally. And stop wasting your time with a situation ship that's not going anywhere. I think she needs to set that line and not cross it. 
you know? I need to take a deep breath. No, I know that. <laughs> After what I said. I feel like what you... It's so real, though, what you mentioned. Like, it's sometimes... Like, we have a choice. Yeah. Despite what we've been through. Of course, there are things that are so difficult. And I think he talked about breaking generational curses, right? That's mm-hmm. what he's trying to do. And my thing is, listen, it's okay if you're not ready to break that curse yet. It's okay if you don't know how to break that curse yet. It's okay if you maybe don't even want to break that curse yet. Like you're saying, maybe that's easier for him because I think it is easier than yeah. as opposed to putting in the work and yeah. dealing with the reality. You can just say, this is what I saw growing up. So right. that's right. all I know. So I'm saying it's okay if all of, the, all, all of those things are true. What I think is not okay is to then put somebody else in that position with you and drag them through the mud with you. I think that's what's not okay. Letting her believe. She also said it today in this podcast that I heard. She was very honest. And Cammy, Cammy said, like, listen, from the outside, it seemed like you were very, like, oops, can't see the red flags, you know, just, pr- like, running mm-hmm. through a carnival with all these red flags. And she was like, I know that's what it seemed like. But in reality, we had so many conversations. I he led me to believe like the outcome was going to be different Mm -hmm. you know so i love her i love what she preaches but i think sometimes she doesn't also practice what she's preaching you know yeah so many she's hopeful and she thinks she's the one that's going to change him as all of us like are secretly i don't want to do that though anymore like genuinely i'm fucking tired like i don't want to have to change someone 180 like to make it work i don't want to have to make it I I just feel, I firmly, and I always say this to my friends, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what being in love feels like. But what what I do know, I mean, I don't. But what I do know is I don't think it should be that hard. Yeah. Like, I don't think it should be that fucking hard to where you're literally having to revamp your and his entire life to make something work. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be. No, 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 not at all. Like, when you know, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Of course not. But, like, when things are supposed to... And again, Wes and I have been together now for almost three years. Actually, no, over three years. Sorry, like three years and a few months. I, we just made it work. There was no, and I never had this before. So that's why I also understand when women do stupid shit like she yeah, did. Yeah, of course. Because you never We've all saw done it. anything better. And I really, in this relationship, I saw what it means that a man is like, fighting for you yeah. but not in that like dramatic way yeah, yeah, sending yeah. you fucking 50 bouquets of roses yeah, yeah. he's actually like putting in the work and yeah. making sure that i like when he, he you know a, he had a few bachelor parties recently he always makes sure like text me send me food like do cute things to make sure that i know that he thinks about me yeah and i just think that you know a true man is gonna show you that you are yeah well he's gonna tell you and he's also gonna show you that's i think the problem a lot of the time we it's it's one or the other and i feel like it's got to be both yeah for it to make sense words are so easy you can say shit to people and not mean it okay final thoughts yeah final thoughts i think for me personally is love blind coco no (laughs) (laughs) i love how there was like zero hesitation For me, this was a really ex- fun experience as a first-time consumer yeah. of the platform. We're so happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will be back for sure. Can't I wait. will continue watching. We're so this happy show. that you enjoyed it. Thank and you. And we can't wait to have you back next season. Thank you. I love Love Is Blind out of nowhere. I didn't think that I'm gonna like it. Yeah. I just think that because it's fascinating. I'm very interested in human yeah. behavior totally. and to see the shit they do. And what mistakes they make on national television is just fucking hilarious. It's nuts. And I shout out to everybody who was on the show because that's not easy. No. And all the shit that we talked about this evening, take it with a grain of salt. It's with love and just, humor. Yeah. We we just like, we, we wish them all the best. No, we, truly. We're not like ill hearted and we... I just think it's so entertaining. I never, this is, this is, I'm like not exaggerating. I've never experienced like talking about a piece of like content so art. passionately. It's art. it's art. I was about to say art, but I was like, it's is this art. too much? No, it's art. Okay. What is your conclusion? My conclusion is, I don't know. What is my conclusion? I think is love blind? I don't think it's blind because I need to want to climb you. And also if I'm going to be upset over a mediocre ass man he needs to be hot 
I need to see you know what, what he looks I like. Wonder, you and know what this I mean? Is something that like, I don't know if they discuss this, but like how much money everybody makes. I think is, a lot of the money comes after. Yeah, because I mean, if you are a high maintenance girl that wants to get her nails done every three weeks, and your man is like, I mean, you get them every week, but in, okay, no need to like, call, <laughs> call me out. Yeah, but like if you, if yeah. like for example, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. were on the show and you are, you know, you you are doing all right. Yeah. If you meet a guy that it has plastic silverware, well, apparently there's a day. So there's different days on when they're on dates. Apparently every day they get prompted with questions that they should talk about. Okay. And apparently one of those days, once it's a little bit further in, it's a finance day. Mm-hmm. So they do talk about this at length. The problem is what happened last season is that guy was not honest with her. Like, he was in, like, credit card debt and stuff, and he didn't say anything, and then it was, obviously, it led to the demise, yeah. So... I think I need to dive into those previous episodes. Honestly, you fucking should. And I'm so jealous that you haven't seen them because you get to, like, experience it for the first time. Like, I'm not going to watch it again, you know? It's so good. So, yeah, I think this was so fun. We love to talk shit. And, again, it's with love. Like I said, I've I've been a dumb bitch so many times (laughs) in my life. Same. But we can learn from we yeah. can learn from all these things, right? And I think mm-hmm. what what we both love to preach on is like Know your worth. Know your fucking That's what value. This says. Literally. I don't know if you know that. No, and I love it. Like yeah. is that new? No, it's like a year old. Why have I never seen that? What about this? This is oh, this is uh, uh Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. this is like okay. an evil. I remember eye. that, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. That's it. Love is not blind. Love and, is not blind. Uh, bless love you. you all. Bye. <laughs> bestie thank you so much for listening i hope you enjoyed the episode be sure to subscribe to my podcast so you never miss out i release new episodes every friday if you love bougie best friend please leave a five star rating and a review your support means the world and it helps the show grow you can also follow me on instagram tiktok and youtube at coco beauty and you can find bougie best friend on apple spotify and all other major podcasting platforms love you bye